Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Addison Green, and we're tracking some flash flood concerns out there, especially across the Harris County area where we do have a flash flood warning up in effect. In fact, we got three of them going on right now for eastern portions of the county. You can see them highlighted right here, although you do see two kind of overlapping each other. That's just because one is expiring around 815 and the next one will last until 1015. We do have this flash flood warning up in effect till 730, pushing in towards the Sheldon area, Barrett up towards Crosby down and towards the Lynchburg area. These are coming through because of these slow moving thunderstorms that have been dropping down in excess of about one to four inches of rain per hour. So we are dealing with some very uh, much flood inducing storms coming in across the vicinity. Let's pull it out for you. The bigger picture does show you that we have seen uh, rainfall radar estimates coming on in about one to four inches. You can see right there pretty much going down from Wadley down 90 towards Beaumont Place and riding right along the I-10 quarter. You're dealing with some areas, potentially low lying areas, especially standing water. And wherever you do see any roadways, especially as we're starting to get in towards past the sunset hour, see any standing water on any of those roadways, you got to remember the motto, turn around, don't drown. You don't know what lies beneath the surface of the water. There could be something underneath there that could puncture a tire, perhaps, or if you try getting out of your car, you may be walking in through some debris in the waters right there. But it's mostly across the eastern, northeastern portions of the loop area, push up in towards the beltway, and then making its way on towards the border of Chambers and up in towards Liberty County that we are seeing these flooding concerns developing. Also, we have flood advisories where we're not seeing as high rainfall rates coming on in, but nonetheless, there is the chance for seeing some minor flood situations either going on right now or eventually as you push in through the next few hours in these highlighted areas. So going up along 290 way past Cypress in towards the Brenham area down and across towards portions of the eastern end of Harris County just underneath that flash flood warning and over and across this big highlighted polygon area that goes into an effect till 745 this evening. We can see right here these thunderstorms slowly moving on in across the vicinity kind of just popping on up and then drifting on in and heading on down this way as we're watching the influence of a very weak cold front dropping on down across from the north. Now this uh, cold front is bringing around some nice, uh, you know, relief from the heat and humidity up towards the northern states. But for us, it's just kicking off scattered showers and thunderstorms. And because these uh, storms aren't being driven by a fast moving front, there's no upper level winds to move these storms. They're slowly just drifting in across the area and then they'll be fading away as we gradually make our way in towards the evening hours as well. As we move right here in towards your satellite radar and winds graphic, you can see that the winds are coming in on shore, but then you notice that they're kind of moving on in towards a northwesterly direction, but it's right over the heart of the city that they're kind of like moving in in various different directions here and there. So that just tells you right there that there's no really big wind at the surface helping to move these storms as well. So they're just kind of moving on in through very gradually. And then as they continue to rain themselves out, they'll eventually start to fade away. But the atmosphere is packed with so much moisture that uh, that's where we're seeing these flash flood concerns going on, especially right here up across central, eastern and southern portions of Harris County, which unfortunately does include the heart of the city. As we make our way outside, you can see right there, there's a good amount of murkiness going on. So they're showing you the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. The atmosphere is packed. This is coming in from our roof camera in the Galleria area. We can see moderate to heavy rain coming in right here across on the horizon. As you're looking up across towards San Felipe Boulevard and pushing out here towards the west as well. You can see a little bit of some light to moderate rainfall coming on down. Temperatures are hanging around the upper 70s. We've cooled down in the past several hours because of all that rain cool air coming on down across the vicinity. But unfortunately, the humidity is still running very much high. So as you step outside, you can feel that muggy feeling in the air. Temperatures across the board are generally into the 80s. We have El Campo City at 90 degrees, Cleveland City at 78. But it feels like a little bit better than how it did even a few hours ago, where we had feel like temperatures into the hundreds in many spots. Now, only towards the Huntsville area and Angleton do we still have that being the case as we watch these very much slow moving storms move in and move across the area. There is a potential out there before the day is done to see some more flooding concerns, especially in this yellow highlighted area it does include eastern sections of Harris County and all of our cross towards our eastern counties throughout the rest of the day today. So just bear that in mind. Any of those little storms that do come through have the chance for producing some potentially flooding rains, especially on this yellow highlighted area where we have a slight risk for that flood potential going on by tomorrow. 
as we watch that weak front move on down from the north and eventually slide down towards the coast and fade away over time. We still have the coastal areas dealing with the potential of seeing some flooding. Just a marginal risk. It's a one out of four right there on our scale, but nonetheless, if you're down that way, any low lying areas, you may be on the lookout for potentially seeing some flood concerns come your way. As we track it right here for you in your future track throughout the evening hours, you can see that eventually scattered thunderstorms start to break down, start to fade away for the northern counties, but they start to become an issue for the southern counties. Going on down there towards Galveston, towards the Crystal Beach area, pushing in towards Al Campo and towards Wharton. That's where we do have the potential for seeing more storms hanging around. By the morning hours, 3 a.m., most people are asleep, but you may be hearing some booms of thunder in these highlighted areas for our western counties. Talking about going from Fort Bend County down to Wharton County in towards Colorado County as we watch the still the influence of that very slow moving weak cold front drop on down across our vicinity. By tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., we're looking out there towards Brazoria County right along the coast. We got sections of West Harris County and pushing up in towards Fort Bend County, Sugarland going right along I-10, Katy. Yeah, you'll be dealing with some wet weather as you're about to hit that morning rush time frame. As you make your way throughout the midday hours to eventually the afternoon hours, that rain potential goes from roughly about 40% down to about 20% or so as we start to see the influence of that cold front starting to fade away across the area. But we'll still have, of course, plenty of moisture in the atmosphere and get that daytime heating going to get still a few pop up showers that may come through once we get towards the time frame of four o'clock. But nonetheless, we'll be watching the rain chances diminishing as we go throughout the rest of the day on Tuesday, where a high temperature will be only coming around 90 degrees. Average high this time of year, that's 93. We go up towards that area and a little bit beyond that for Wednesday by Thursday, Friday. Now we're seeing high temperatures getting up into the mid to even upper 90s. Feel like temperatures. Yep, they're getting up towards 110 degrees. So silver line, I guess we can say with this uh, rain chance coming on in and rain flood threat for many spots is that you get a brief break from the heat, but it'll be coming on back across the area as you make it through the work week ahead. I'm going to jump back towards the top of the show just to dive in towards that flood potential. If anybody just tuning in right now joining us, we can see right there that flash flood warning that was up in effect across the extreme eastern sections of Harris County has been allowed to expire. Still have this one right here, big one going up across the northeastern sections of the Beltway where we are seeing those rainfall rates coming on in at roughly about one to four inches for about every two to three hours. Some instances it can be coming down within an hour or so. But up towards the Barrett area, Barrett area I should say, down and towards Beaumont Place, Jacinto City. Yeah, that's where we have seen that rain come down so far. And in several spots, really starting to add on up, especially some of those uh, paved roadways getting that runoff becoming really an extreme situation over there. Flood advisors, yep, we got them too. Those green highlighted areas up near Brenham towards Hempstead, pushing it across towards the eastern section of the Beltway, going in towards Mount Bellevue, and then a big one right here in towards Liberty and in towards portions of Liberty County as well. That'll be up in effect for the next about hour or two or so. As we're watching these slow moving thunderstorms coming on, and you can see we have them popping on up towards the west, gradually drifting on down towards the coastal areas. That's because we're watching the influence of that cold front drop on down across our vicinity, which for the most part, it's just introducing that rain chance and thunderstorm threat across the area. We're not really seeing a drop in temperatures drastically, and we're not seeing a drop in humidity because that's what we really like to have is to squeeze out some of this moisture in the atmosphere, get it out of town. So the reason why these storms are moving in very slowly, look at the surface winds. They are barely moving, and when they are, they're kind of all over the place, especially right across Harris County, where we can see the winds are kind of like just swirling around right there just across the heart of the city. We have winds, generally speaking, coming on in off the Gulf of Mexico, bringing in that sea breeze, bringing in that moisture from the Gulf, and then making its way further inland. But for the most part, right here in that bullseye, that's where we are dealing with these storms barely moving at all, besides just drifting across the vicinity and unleashing a tremendous amount of moisture in the atmosphere, in which case you can see the visibility goes down as you're looking out there towards the horizon. This is our roof camera coming in from the Galleria area up across towards Westheimer, looking in towards the San Felipe area. And yep, the heavy rain is coming on down and coming down in sheets. So we'll be keeping our eyes on the radar imagery throughout the rest of the evening hours. Make sure you have that KHU 11 app to get those push notifications. When you have a flood threat in your area, you'll be notified and make sure you can try and uh, get away from any of those uh, standing water pockets here and there. And make sure you join us on the TV side of things at 10 o'clock for the latest forecast. I'll see you guys there.